What's up, Yugi Nerds? It's your boy Reaper here, and I know it's been a while since my last deck profile, but I've kind of ran out of ideas and stuff to build. Um, but I am working on stuff, and we do have a profile for you today. Uh, with the structure deck, uh, Albash Strike coming out, uh, Branded has become a an, an engine that you can splash in a good handful of decks, and as you can tell from the top card of this deck, I am... Uh, profiling branded fluffle um now I, i'm actually really surprised at how well this actually works now it's not meta tier by any means this is like a good rogue splash like like a good rogue tier uh deck for sure though uh just some of the combos that you can pull off with this is just absolutely insane but without further ado let's get right on into the profile uh, first, we do run two copies of Fluffle Dolphin. Uh, let's see here. We got two copies Fluffle Bear. We have the two copies of Fluffle Wing. We have the one copy of Fluffle Owl. Next, going into the Edge Imp portion. Of course, three Edge Imp Scythe. We have the two Edge Imp Chain. We have the one Edge Imp Sabres. Uh, then we do have three Fluffle Penguin. Uh, right now, there are two copies of the Golden Sword Soul. Now, honestly, I've been debating of, of like dropping these for something like Effect Veiler or uh, Ghost Ogres. Uh, we primarily just need the light attribute in the deck to go into uh, stuff like, uh, I want to say it's Albion. I think Albion is the one, yeah, uh, for Albion. So you can honestly uh, swap these two out for any other two uh, light attribute monsters that you would like to have in the deck. Um, next, we do have the three copies of Fallen of Albaz, because it would not be branded without the Albaz. Uh, next, we do have three copies of Ash Blossom, because you, 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 what what deck isn't running Ash Blossom? Let's just be honest. Next, going into the spells, we got two Fright for Patchworks. We have the two Polymerization. Uh, we have two Super Poly. We have one Called by the Grave. One Foolish Burial of Goods. We have the three copies of Branded Fusion. Uh, the three copies of Toy Vendor. And the two copies of Fright for Fusion. Alright, and next we are going to go into the extra deck. Um, so we do run one Fright for Chimera. We have a... Fright for Daredevil. We have the one Fright for Sabretooth. The two Fright for Kraken. And then the three Fright for Cruelwell. Uh, next we have Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Two copies of Albion. Two copies of Labellion. And then, of course, two copies of Mirror Jade. So, what we will do now, we will shuffle the deck, get it all good and ready, and then we are going to, uh... We're going to do a couple test hands. We're going to do a couple test hands, show off some of the combos that you can do with this deck. Like I said, guys, it's actually kind of crazy how well it does work when you're able to, uh... When you're able to do stuff so uh without further ado let's go ahead and skip forward to the test hands all right guys so we are all shuffled up we are ready to do some test hands uh i'm going to do a uh going first style because with mirror jade being a really good card you know you you want to try to end on a board with mirror jade on field regardless of anything else that you have on field so Let's see, sorry, trying to move that cord. Uh, let's see what we can make happen. 
Oh, man. Wow. That's actually... That's a really good opening Fluffle hand. Like, in general. You know what? For the sake of this hand, let's say we're going second, right? Let's, let's say we're going second. Let's say your opponent's going first. So, opponent goes first. They, you know, draw, stand by. They're in main. They, they activate effects, start doing stuff. Well, you would reveal the Edge M Scythe activating effect to send it. And let's say Dolphin. Let's say you're sending Scythe, Dolphin to Grave. You go for the Cruel Well. You get Cruel Well on field. Now, Cruel Well's effect would activate because it was fusion summoned it can target one card you control one tar and then target one card your opponent controls uh destroy both targets so what you would do is you would target itself and you would target a monster uh that your opponent controls you would uh pop pop but because you used uh scythe you would actually be able to banish scythe preventing your cruel well from being destroyed and still being able to pop your opponent's board so like it doesn't negate effects or anything they would still their effects would still resolve however they're one body down from their board and you've set yourself up for the cruel well which you know funny enough it's not going to matter going first but uh cruel well does have the effect to pitch a fright for card from the extra deck to the graveyard uh allowing it to gain attack uh, you can actually send any fright for card from deck or or extra deck but usually you'd want to send something like fright for chimera or fright for daredevil which are the reasons why these cards are in the deck uh in order to boost its attack uh in the battle phase as a quick effect which is really cool so like i said we are testing this going second so let's go ahead and see what we would draw into called by that is actually fantastic especially for mirror matches uh let's say like we set the we set called by activate patchwork patchwork to add a we're gonna add chain then we're going to add the polymerization then we will activate the polymerization sending chain wings chain and wings into uh well actually we would use the polymerization sending these three sending well wings and chain uh we would go into Sabretooth because it uh used three materials for its fusion summon it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. Its effect would activate upon summon, bouncing back your cruel well uh, to the field. You would then be able to activate edge of chain effect to add a fright for card from deck to hand. You would want to go into something along the lines of fusion. Since we've already used the Fright for Patchwork, it would just make sense to add the Fusion. Uh, because then we would be able to extend the play here a little bit. Let's see here. We will activate the Fusion. We're going to pitch the Dolphin. And the Chain. Going into Kraken. Using Kraken Effect, pop their board, and then, uh, well actually, depending on what your opponent's board state would be, you could use the effect to pop, or you could just swing twice, or whale boost, swing twice, swing, swing, because Sabretooth's already given them, what, plus 400? So... That that's that's a pretty pretty solid uh, fright for fright for board. I know we didn't see any of the fluffle stuff, so let's shuffle them up again and see if we can't you know do something with the fluffle uh, with the with the branded mechanic. All right, guys. So we are back. We are going to try a second test hand. We're going to go first this time. 
uh, see if the outcome is a little bit different. Hopefully we'll see the branded. Uh, we got chain, toy vendor, branded fusion, fluffle penguin, and polymerization. All right, so this is this is a really good hand for this deck. All right, so first off, what we would like to do, we're going to go ahead and activate polymerization. We're going to use chain, penguin. So we are going to bring out a kraken going first in defense position, right? Uh, we will activate fluffle chain and or edgem chain and fluffle penguins effect. We will do chain link one, chain link two. So we're going to draw two, discard one, pitching toy vendor. Uh, we will then activate chain to add a fright for card from deck to hand. Uh, we will activate the, or we will grab the Fright for Patchwork, right? All right, and now we actually have the option to activate Toy Vendor Engrave, searching a Fluffle, or a Edge Imp Sabers. So for this particular instance, we're going to actually grab a uh, we're going to grab the owl. We're going to grab the owl. Alright. So, so far we have not normal summoned. We have only specialed. So now, we can activate patchwork. Patchwork to search out an edge imp and a polymerization. We're going to add the... Edge Imp, let's go Edge Imp Sabers, along with the Poly. Alright, so this is our hand now, which is still really strong. Alright, so that's Engrave. We got, we're going to go Polymerization. Sending Sabres, Kraken, and Owl. Go into Sabretooth. Sabretooth effect to grab back the Kraken. Let's see here. Now, we are going to go into Branded Fusion. Branded Fusion effect. We are going to send... Albez, and as of right now, we are actually going to send the Golden Sword Soul, right? That's what we're going to send for our boy Albion. All right, so we will now activate Albion Effect to banish itself and banish the Albaz going into Mirror Jade. And with that, I mean... That's a pretty strong board. That's a pretty strong turn one board. And, I mean, you still have Edge Imp Scythe and Branded Fusion in hand. So, I mean, in all in all honesty, like, the synergy that this deck actually has, like, the Albaz with the Edge Imp mechanic, as well as the effects of, like, the Fluffle monsters that just allow searches and stuff like that, it's, it's crazy. It is insane. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the branded fluffle down in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, yeah, we will see you all in the next one. Bye.